good evening, good morning, good night, wherever you are in the world. This is Dan Anderson wishing you Happy New Year on the first webinar of 2019. Uh, I was very, very pleased about the webinar that we did here on New Year's Eve. And um, uh, it was just a, a great thing to sort of be able to go back over all the things that we've done in 2018. So, so notwithstanding that it was quite a difficult uh, year in, in, in many, many, many ways. We also achieved many, many things. Now, one of the things that is very, very cool is that in this first week of 2019, there's a real sense, well, I have a real sense, uh, that the energy is shifting and we're going into uh, sort of a very dynamic frame now and everyone is quite excited, uh, certainly in the office and, and, and certainly uh, the, the field that I speak to, uh, is that there's kind of things afoot and there's, there's a sense that people are very excited and there's a, uh, people are waiting for something and it's kind of like there's a, there's a sense of expectation in the air that I'm very, very excited by because they're, 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 there's, kind of, there's kind of life in our Leo business and there's kind of life in the hearts and minds of people and, and, and very, very cool. So this uh, agenda today, as I promised you last week, and, and again, we have record numbers of people on this call, uh, if you consider the, uh, the, the several hundred people that we have on the call plus the several hundred people uh, around that and some of the places where we're doing uh, open GAMs with, with sort of 10, 20, 50, 100 people in attendance, uh, we're speaking to a lot of people here now, and, and thank you all for coming on. Now, our agenda is very short and very sharp, but it's, uh, it's going to be shared by me and me here, Magudia, who is our Director of External Affairs, a key uh, Chief Executive or, or Executive Director of the Leo Coin Foundation, as well as the Digital Currency uh, Foundation, as well as the founder and brainchild of the um, uh, Digital Currency Day that's coming up next week. And uh, I, I think that... Uh, he forgot to mention that the Chinese, but he won't mention, forget to uh, talk about all the shenanigans going on next week, which is very exciting. But recognition. We have people who are moving through the business at a record pace. Uh, they are uh, very, very enthusiastic and, and they, they're kind of uh, texting me and, and, and sending me WhatsApp messages all the time about events that they're doing. And the two latest marketing directors of the Leo business is Ash Islam and Charlie Cow, uh, who are our dynamic duo uh, in London and uh, building a business all over the world. Uh, it's only, I think, two months uh, since they went uh, director uh, and suddenly they popped uh, to the next level, which, which tells you uh, that they really have a business that's moving uh, because they have a, a, a leg here and a leg there and, and, and both of these businesses are, are thriving and both of these teams are pushing forward. And, and just congratulations uh, to Ash and, and Charlie uh, because um, there is, they're a very dynamic duo and and as I think it was Ash or it might have been Charlie who sent me a text the other day and, and they were very, how shall I say, uh, they were very complimentary and, and they were very, very kind and, and sort of uh, said that they're, they're with Leo forever. And um, uh, they uh, said, we know that we're sometimes a bit of a pain in the ass, uh, excuse my language, but sometimes we're, we're a little bit too intense and, and fine, you're leaders and you're supposed to be intense. If, if you're looking after and championing your field, uh, you have to fight for your teams. And these two guys, uh, Charlie and Ash, they just fight for their teams all the time. Now, they're very, very blessed because they got people like Ahmed Balas and, and, and they got uh, uh, Dr. Kamrul and what have you in the team. And they've got a team that I'll talk to you a little bit later on doing amazing things in Africa. Uh, so that it's just it's just very very cool to see uh, that um, some people in, in in a business like Leo's that's now seven years old, some people kind of how do I know how 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 do I put this in in, in a way that's politically correct? Uh, sometimes you've been with something for a long time, and 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 one of the English expression that come expressions that come to mind is that familiarity breeds contempt. But there's also people who, who come into this and, and, and they're brand new and they're so excited by what Leo uh, can do for them. Now we're a seven year old company, so we've got both of those things that we have the long term stability, we've fought and weathered many storms. Uh, but all of you on this call, just remind yourself that for someone coming into this business, this is a brand new business and it's exciting. And I think Charlie and Ash, 
demonstrate that in their teams uh, because uh, they, 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 they kind of are excited about the business and, and some of the messaging that I get from Ash and Charlie, uh, when you get enthusiasm like that, I, I just have to share with you, it just makes my day as well so so by all by all means share your excitement and, and, and make sure that you pass that message up and down like charlie and ash do they are constantly letting us know who's rocking and rolling in their business uh, they, they 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 share with us all the time uh, about the newest and the latest people who are breaking positions and and this is what indirect selling leadership is and so all power to you ash and Charlie, and congratulations on your marketing director position. Now, uh, the 31st of January deadline, the 31st of January is going to feature a couple of times on this webinar, uh, but you have until the 31st of January to change your guest details, to upload your visa and flight details, to upload your visa and flight details of your guests. And you must get this done. Uh, we're, we're seeing that people are engaging with it, but as salespeople, as networkers, some of you are just hopeless. Get over it and get it done. Even if it's administration, even if it's bureaucracy, even if it's tedious to do the paperwork, get it done. Because you don't want to jeopardize your trip to Brazil because there's aspects of the ticketing and the visa process that are non-negotiable. So no matter what the best will in the world we have for you is, you still have to do your bit, which is uploading this stuff and, and, and getting it done. So uh, that's all, all I'll say about that. 31st of January, we'll be here in five minutes. Get it done. The other thing that I want to talk about, and I'm going to invite me here to say a, a few words about this in a moment, is uh, our executive trip is something that's very special to me because uh, we, we always wanted to help get to know um, the people that get to the executive position because this is really uh, one of the most important leadership steps in our plan. Uh, you don't get to executive by accident and it takes a lot of work and effort to get there. And so when we have a leader that gets to the executive level, we want to get to know this person. We want him to get to know us. So that was always part of the executive uh, kind of philosophy that we had. Um, but the other thing that we've done over the years is that we've done this to different locations. And of course, Dubai was always uh, a highlight and, uh, and a place that we've uh, visited and revisited many times. But we've also done the executive trip to Morocco and we've done it to Nepal uh, and we went to Mount Everest when we were there. So the, the, the kind of scope of the executive has, has changed a little bit in the sense that we want this to be a big, exciting, potentially life-changing kind of thing. Uh, if, if you imagine, uh, I mean, I've met executives over the years that this was pretty much their first international travel. Some of them got their passport for the executive trip. And so what we want this to do is to, is to open the horizons for people. Uh, and and uh, many, many, many times people say, I've never been to Dubai. I've never been to uh, this sort of place. And, and it's fantastic that Leo is giving me that opportunity. What we are doing now is we're going to a new destination. And the destination is nothing short of Cambodia. And um, uh, if, uh, when, when someone said Cambodia to me, I said, what, why, what, why Cambodia? And um, uh, the team were, were sort of selling this hard to me and said it was absolutely fantastic. And I, I've never been. And I thought, I'm not getting this. But I, I spoke to uh, me here when he went to Cambodia to do some filming and, and, and put in place some sound bites for this uh, and to do some recce, uh, some, some, some reckoning. And uh, when I spoke to me here on the telephone, I got it because he was so excited uh, about Cambodia. So I, I'm going to invite the, me here. Can you just say a few words and, and try to get people to understand why this is such a special destination for our executive trip? Thanks very much, Dan. And it was always a delight to be here. Um, a couple of people you, of you have written in the questions that you can't hear anything or the screen is oh. not showing. Um, so oh. do confirm in the questions if you can hear us. Okay. Okay. Um, but anyway, Cambodia. It is nothing short of uh, magical. It's this really, uh, it's hard to explain just how wonderful it is. It's got this amazing history. It's got this amazing culture. The people there are a relentless delight. They really are some of the most wonderful people you'd ever. Um, thank you, Rachel. Rachel can hear us just fine. So I hope that means that's true for everyone. Um, 
the, the people the people there are just so wonderful to spend time with to talk to and um what's sort of the centerpiece of cambodia cambodian history is this place called angkor and obviously the famous temple there is called angkor wat and it's in the middle of this jungle it's in the middle of this forest and you're kind of wandering through this um this uh, really sort of green woodland this green jungle with animals everywhere and crickets shrieking and um just you sort of turn a corner you turn around a tree you sort of bend under a, a bamboo branch or something and you look up and then all of a sudden there is just this most amazing structure this ma this massive temple this ancient city these um these places where people lived and worked and prayed and gatehouses and just just sort of growing out of nature itself and it's from an empire that's long gone and the jungles reclaimed all of this land it's reclaimed all of these um buildings and there's sort of trees growing through stone and there's stone growing around trees and if any of you have ever seen an indiana jones film you'll get a sense of um of uh, what i mean and the history of this place is just magical and marvelous because about 800 years ago this area was the most populated city in the world over a million people lived there and um, there was no nowhere else on the planet that was as busy as populated as powerful at that time and then one day it just wasn't there anymore it sort of disappeared and it was conquered and it was uh, given back to the jungle as civilization moved on and now 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 you've got this um, sunlight coming through the trees onto this faded glory and faded um, faded old stones and it really is just a, a real delight to behold to just be walking around these places to feel the sense of history to feel the sense of culture and to just feel something really enduring about those stones really enduring about those buildings that through all the tw twists and turns of history it's the biggest temple in the world uh, through all the twists and turns of history these cities are still there um, these Buddhist monks are still there as they have been for the last um, thousand years or so and it's just an amazing amazing experience just to wander amongst these places and to get get that sense and I really really think it's the perfect perfect place for our executives um, this year because what you also have with Cambodia is between about 1974 and 1999 they had a fairly unremitting that's Jeff, um, they had a fairly unremitting um, civil war and that cost millions and millions of lives that was uh, the Pol Pot um, Khmer Rouge time of uh, Cambodia's history and so many many people died there was famines there was difficulties um, for almost every single person in the entire country but in the last 20 years or so, they've really reinvented themselves as a nation. So it's, it's really interesting and exciting to meet these people because they're so proud of their ancient ruins. They're so proud of what they achieved um, as a civilization 800 or so um, years ago. And then they're quite embarrassed and upset about sort of very recent history from the 70s onwards. And they also have this amazing sort of positive view about the future because they're, as a country, They've come through that civil war. They've come through those troubled times and the economy is doing well. The people are doing well. They've got um, a functioning uh, voting uh, government that operates and, um, you know, the roads are all fine. And it's um, you've got a really young country full of excitement, full of passion about the future, really mindful of its history, mindful of its ancient past and its recent history, but looking forward to a glorious future to fulfill its potential. And I couldn't think of a better context for Leo executives to have a, a meeting. I couldn't think of a better context for an event because it, it all marries up with what we're talking about. It's all about um, charging forward now. So a glorious, glorious year, mindful of everything that's come before, aware of what we're um, aware of what we're doing, but really planning out the most amazing, amazing achievements to come. So I highly, highly recommend um that you get there i can't wait to share this place with all of you it's uh, going to be a trip like no other and uh hopefully as many of you as there possibly uh, as there possibly can be very cool very cool but listen you've been to morocco and you've been to nepal although you didn't actually make the uh, mount everest the uh, base camp and you've been to dubai of course uh, where, where does where does where does uh, cambodia sit in that continuum um that's a hard one because we have done some amazing amazing things with our executives um mm. I mean, dubai is a great city for business it's a great city for seeing what you can do um with uh, some natural resources and will 
Morocco has got its history of markets and um, constant entrepreneurship and enterprise with the great big Medina. Mount Everest and Nepal, that was, I mean, that's just um, a place to drive someone speechless. But with, with Cambodia, it's got almost everything we'd want from it, I think. It's got this culture of um, youth and excitement, of um, vision for the future. It's got this ancient history that really grounds it in its past. And I, I really think in Cambodia, we can do certainly our best executive trip yet. And what we always forget, actually, is the people who have their teams attend. And it's always, I always think it's a fantastic idea for team leaders, for directors, for marketing directors, for regional marketing directors to take that time to spend with their teams on these executive trips as well. Because it really does add up to a really, really valuable trip. And whenever that happens, it's always, uh, it's always something to remember. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. You can hear in the tone of voice from, from uh, me here that there is a, there is a raw enthusiasm there uh, that you should pay attention to. Uh, I, I guarantee you this, that if you are an executive and you go there, and if you have executives on your team that go there, you will not be sorry. Uh, and, and that's all I will say about that. Now, 2019 is starting off with a new energy, of course. And uh, uh, I've kind of alluded to that already, but of course we have the momentum conferences uh, that we're in full swing for now, uh, qualifying for Dubai and, and for the Great China Sea uh, and the cruise that we're doing over there. Now, uh, this, this will be sort of part of the landscape of 2019 as we go forward, uh, but we're running, we're running this for all of our global business and, and, and it's going to be very, very cool. Uh, so I just wanted to say that um, by the time you go to Cambodia, by the time you go on one or both of these conferences, uh, by the time you go to Brazil, there's quite a travelogue to be written in 2019. And, and there will be some people that qualify for all three or, or four of these events. And that's not a bad thing for one year. So 2019 has got this massive, massive promise where we will do education and training and motivation and recognition. And, and 2019, honestly, uh, some of the things that are, are on the drawing board uh, are just going to take our business to the next level. It's quite funny. Uh, and um, the, the, the one thing that I think that is fair enough uh, that everyone is really focused on is what is the Leo nation going to do with its currency, uh, Leo coin. And, and, and as I said to you on, on New Year's Eve, uh, this webinar here, uh, we want to show you a little bit, give you some meat on the bones of, of the stuff that we're working on so hard. Now we have software developers and blockchain developers working on this and they are kind of working around the clock because we're doing some very big things. This is not a small thing. Most, how should I put this? Most of the problems that we have in direct selling comes from the negative image that scams create. And there's been a ton of cryptocurrency scams out there where they launch something and it is not real and they, they, they launch this coin, coin and, and then that doesn't work or they, or they flood their market with those and then they launch coin uh, plus. Uh, to kind of get away from the liability of the first one. And, and they, they kind of come up with these different coins and, and then they try to burn their liabilities by launching a new one. That's not what we do. What we do is we're trying to build something real here. And, uh, and what we want to show uh, today is, is me here is really going to take this, this section forward because we're going to give you a, a, a sample of the wallet and the interface and the features that the wallet uh, will have and it's quite impressive because it's not just a wallet if, if you think about a wallet you think oh, it's a wallet and, and, and I keep my cash in my wallet and so when I have a Leo coin wallet you think that this is kind of just a purse if you like for your for your Leo coins no 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 we're into entrepreneurship and we're into building a currency for our entrepreneurs and our entrepreneurs are are connected to merchants and our entrepreneurs have staking privileges and they have a network that they can communicate with on chat. The, 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 the wallet that me is going to show you now is, is hinting at a much bigger concept than just a repository for a coin. And the work that we're doing here is real and it's hard and it takes time. It is what it is. I can't, I can't change the, the laws of physics, if you like, that the, 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 more, the, more, you, uh, the more ambition you have the the greater the challenge but if we look at the wallet that you have here uh, you'll see that we have some of the old stuff that we 
that we know and love from before. Uh, so we have privacy and, and we have this Tor access and we have this way to make transactions private and what have you. We have staking, it's still part of the of, of the new architecture of LeoCoin3. Uh, we have uh, all the things there with the chat that we invented really for, for the blockchain. And, and we're going to keep that, uh, uh, although it's not been as, as practical as we wanted it to be. But when we go forward now, what I want you to understand from Mia's presentation is that this wallet is not just a repository of coin, it's an interface to where those coins get used and played with in the world, if you like. Uh, so, so, so the wallet is a portal more than a dead-end purse. And, and so that said, uh, let me hand over to the Executive Director of the LeoCoin Foundation, Mr. Mihir Magudia. Thanks very much, Dan. That's uh, great. So yeah, the, the portal idea really is the best way of describing where we want to take our wallets in the future. Because all of this has to be about making it user friendly. All of this has to be about giving people more and more ways to buy and sell and use and trade Leo coin because that's the only way we win. We win that hearts and minds. We win that usability fight. We make it, we, all of you build the community and we make it as easy as possible for anyone to participate. We remove any barriers that might exist. And that's why we want to take, that's why we want to take Leo coin with this technology upgrade. Um, with this usability upgrade, with them, it's just a total upgrade of what we're working on here. And so these are one of the early designs, well, one of the first designs we've made public of uh, the new wallet. And I want to draw your attention. Uh, it's a little bit small on the screen for some of you, I suspect. But there's a few new buttons that have popped up on the left there. And they're about buying and selling Leo coin. They're about plugging into exchanges. They're about um, directly linking with merchants. Because these are some of the ways that people use LeoCoin. This is how people get to sell LeoCoin. This is how people get to buy LeoCoin. This is how people get on exchanges. And we want to try and cut some of those barriers out, do some of the hard work for our users, if we can first, just to get them over that line. And so that's where we're moving with this next upgrade. And that's really our objective with it. Now, we have lots and lots of ideas for what, for what else we can put in the wallet, for new things we can add. 100% of those ideas will obviously not appear on the very, very first wallet that we launch with the upgrade. That's hopefully obvious to everybody. But they will come and they will come and they will come. We continue to work on it. We continue to upgrade on it. We'll continue to add more and more features. And one of the features that we do plan to add is this buy and sell button. That's about plugging in directly to exchanges. That's about plugging in directly to our own exchange and potentially to others as well so that you're not just holding your coins in this purse. It's a, it's a device for getting into the Leo, Leo coin ecosystem. It's a device for trading with people. It's a device for buying Leo coins, it's a device for selling Leo coins, for sending Leo coins to other people, obviously. And then with this merchants button, that's, that's got a few different aspects to it. It'll be a button that merchants can use so that they can manage their accounts, they can understand what it is they're doing. That'll be a specific interface just for them. Um, which will make it much easier for them to run their businesses, much easier for them to track sales, much easier for them to do all sorts of analytics and things that you need to run a, a retail business that's involved in crypto. But also, it's an it's a, um, advertisement for those merchants as well. It's an advertisement for merchants to have a direct link into a, Leo, uh, into a person who has a Leo coin wallet on their desktop or on their phone. And that gives great advantages to the merchants. That lets the user or the member see what merchants are active in their local area. And even for someone, I don't know, one of our members, one of the, one of the members of Leo Mongolia, they might not have many Leo coin merchants within a, a hundred mile radius, but at least they, they'll be able to see very easily and very quickly that there are merchants active all around the world. There are places where they can use their Leo coin and that there is, they are part of this massive global community that's all um, pushing, that's all, that's, that's pushing all in the same direction. Now, one of the other cool things about usability is that Sometimes people want a different wallet. Sometimes people want a feature that um, exists on another wallet that doesn't exist on our wallet, or they just want a very simple purse, or they want just an Android wallet that just holds their coins and does nothing else. One of the great things about our migration to the Ethereum blockchain is that all of that is possible as well. This will be the Leo coin wallet developed by the Leo coin foundation. But if you don't like it, or you want a different wallet or a simpler wallet or a harder wallet, there will be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of wallets available for you to choose from. 
almost, well, not almost any, but there are many, many Ethereum wallets that can take multiple, multiple tokens. This will be one of them as well. And it's a very, very simple thing to have different wallets to suit different needs. So again, you see we're overcoming some usability barriers. Some people found our very first wallet, that big gray thing, if you remember, quite tricky to use, quite hard to manage, it was a bit slow. And you know what, it was our first attempt at a wallet and it had a lot of things that needed improvement. Back then, you could only have one type of wallet for LeoCoin. If you ever have any problems with this wallet, well, guess what? There's hundreds of others you can choose from, there's hundreds of others you can play into, that's what you can play around with. We're part of a much wider ecosystem. We can benefit from all of that external development as well. And as we move down this path of improving our technology and adding new features, it only gets better and better and better. So we're very, very excited about uh, the next phase for um, Neocoin. And this, this shift from a purse wallet to a portal wallet really is just the first glimpse of uh, some of the changes that we're going to make. Very cool. Thank you for that, Mihir. Well, well, the other thing that I think is in, in important to um, uh, help people understand is that the migration onto the Ethereum blockchain, uh, what does that do to us in terms of exchanges and listing of, of Leo coin at, at, at other exchanges? Yes, indeed. And I've talked about this previously, but when an exchange needs to add a new coin, it has to download their code, it has to check over their GitHub code, it has to um, get their full blockchain. Usually, not all exchanges do that but the big ones do. And it has to have a real check on lots and lots of things. And if it's a totally different coin with a completely different code that's completely unknown to them, there are incentive barriers to them bothering to add a, co add a new coin because of the hassle it, might, the hassle it creates, uh, the pain of checking an entirely new code. But because of our move to the Ethereum blockchain, suddenly we're in line with an industry standard. Suddenly we're... Um, very, very similar in, in some of those big chunks that exchanges like to see. And so we'll tick a lot more of those boxes a lot, um, a lot more quickly than we are doing right now. Right now, we tick all boxes, it just takes time to check. When we're on the Ethereum blockchain, we should be able to move that process along much, much, much faster because we're, we're approaching exchanges with something that they already understand. And I know some of you have worked with exchanges to add Leo coin and uh, sort of working with it then uh, you'll also find your journeys um, easier on that because we'll have a code and, the, and be on a blockchain that kind of fits in with uh, some of the industry status quos, not, notwithstanding some of the innovations and unique things that we're going to be adding to it ourselves. But in, 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 in short, then, it will be easier for exchanges to list LeoCoin. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. It will be absolutely easier to them, and um, we, expect, we, we expect them to. I think it's about as yeah, far as we yeah. can. And, and we will do everything we can to list, of course, uh, on, of course. On, on the major exchanges. Now, uh, there's a question in the um, chat box from uh, Shazed Khan. Uh, mm -hmm. Please bring a multiple currency coin wallet in Leo Coin Wallet. I, I know that you mentioned that to me once before here, just recently, this, this afternoon. Uh, can, yeah. you, can you speak to that question? Yes, um, that's a good question, um, Shazed. Um, that's the plan. This buy and sell button. Uh, that you see there on the left, that's essentially how that will work. So you'll be able to hold multiple currencies um, on your LeoCoin wallet, and you can exchange between them using the exchanges that the wallet can plug into. Now, that may not be live on day one or day zero of launch of the new wallet and the upgrade, and you know, there's, there's some fundamentals that we'd want to get right first before adding a feature like that, but that's absolutely part of uh, the plan for the wallet, and that's absolutely what that buy and sell feature on the left there is about because obviously if you're buying and selling from the same wallet you need a wallet that can hold multiple currencies otherwise where does what you what where where, where does the the things that you're using to trade uh, sit, they have to sit mm -hmm. in the same place so that's yeah. how that will work yeah fair enough no cool so so this this portal idea is, is the big one now one of the things that while i've got you on on, on this call uh, me here is that our chinese community and our Canadian Chinese community in particular, and I, I, I'm sure that there's many of them on this call, and they're always on the call because they're so committed and engaged, and, and notwithstanding that they've got legacy issues and, and, and problems that they're dealing with, they are so enthusiastic to work as a community, and, and I have to say that Stone, of all of our leaders, he really gets this because he runs Leo Coin events. And, and, and we'll show you something that they, they did. They take their own initiative. They sign up merchants to get them involved in the, in, in the ecosystem. 
And uh, one of the things that we see an awful lot of in China in particular is that we see trading volume happening of Leo coin uh, on the uh, exchanges that we have uh, over there. And of course, everyone likes to see trading volume. So, so uh, the, the idea that the, the, the price of Leo coin is, is very, very low now is kind of part of the opportunity that everyone has, and especially the new people. Um, but I think that there's a little bit of a time lag for the new Leo groups to get this point. Uh, so me here and I wanted to use this webinar just to bang the drum a, drum a little bit to our English speaking community. So if you are in South Africa or if you are in Finland or if you are in Sweden or if you are anywhere in the world and listening to this presentation, you need to get a Leo coin external account on exchange and you need to start to participate. Now I know people in the field who have as a little day trading job uh, this this thing that they they, they track the um, uh, Leo coin exchanges they, they they set buy and sell limits and when the price goes up uh, they kind of sell a few and when the price goes down they buy a few and they're sort of doing day trading and there's not big bucks in it I'm not saying that uh, I'm saying that you can make a little bit of supplemental income but what is very very cool about it is that it starts to show trading volume of Leo coin which is very good for an external person looking at Leo coin and saying is this real is this something that I can believe in the more volume the exchanges see the more volume the cryptocurrency community sees the better it is for all of us so you as community members on this webinar you have to do your bit you can't just sit on your hands and wait for the other community stones community to make you rich you've got to participate so uh, to that end uh, we've got uh, a couple of slides here talking about uh, some of the exchanges and one in particular uh, me here I'll, I'll hand over to you and, and, and you can kind of talk through this yeah sure so for the English speaking world live coin is kind of the well it's probably the easiest easiest exchange for an English speaker to get on board with and to use and I know I, I can see Nico's on the call today um, I know he runs very sort of similar training classes on how to trade on Livecoin, how to get set up, how to do it. He's one of our um, big sort of passionate supporters of external trading. And I, I heartily, heartily recommend it. But it is a good way of demonstrating to your teams how you're involved. It's a good way of buying Leo coin. It's a good way of selling Leo coin. It's a good way of just getting involved in the community, going from beyond just, um, oh, sorry, beyond um, Leo and into the wider crypto area. Livecoin, using your Leo coin there is a good thing to do and it could not be simpler you should go to the, go to the website um, and give them your email address that's kind of it email address and password you don't have to go through a long KYC process you don't have to go through a long um, any massive issues at all and I think there you can trade Leo coin for I believe ethereum I believe there's a couple other currencies and obviously you can trade Leo coin for Bitcoin as well so go to livecoin.com Show your people that you know how this thing works. Show your teams that you know how to trade and buy and sell cryptocurrency. Buy some Leo coin, sell some Leo coin, do a bit of day trading, support the wider market, support the global volume, support the wider ecosystem of uh, Leo and Leo coin as well. I think it's a great thing for teams to work on. It's a great thing for communities to do. Now, I know that lots of you have focuses and priorities, but this is a good way of working together as a team. It's a good thing to bring, bring your teams together about because it's something that literally anybody can do. And once you've worked it out, once you've done it, if you've not done it before, let me tell you, trading digital currencies is a whole world of fun. It's a world of opportunity. It's a, uh, something I've done for many years now, and it's uh, an, some, some somewhat addictive thing to get into if you're not too careful. Um, it really is a fun thing to be part of. It will enhance your awareness of crypto, it will enhance your awareness of digital currencies, and it will turn you from not just someone who, um, uh, is promoting something or pushing something, but someone who really understands and knows how things work, who know how the markets work, who know how um, volumes work. And it's not difficult to start. It's not difficult to uh, get into. As I say, go in, give them an email address and be part of the external Leo coin community as well as the Leo member community that you're already part of. No, I think that's that's very very well made uh, points there because the, the 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 truth of the matter is as well. I mean, I, I'm speaking to hundreds of people here today. Not everyone is going to be able to kind of do the hairy chested thing of building a net 
network because it's, it's not for the faint-hearted it's not necessarily easy it, it's kind of it, it, for some of you it'll be the toughest thing that you ever do in your life to build a network uh, even with a company that's honest and, and, and has good intentions with you like like Leo and, and, and like all of us but some of your people even if they they kind of get a little bit disenchanted with with how tough it is to build a network it's just the reality of, of, of uh, how life is not everyone follows through on their new year's resolutions and what have you but many of those people will actually participate in in uh, in a bit of day trading what have you and they all add value so um, uh, you as a networker you as a leader you need to be pushing uh, everyone on your team to get a live coin.net uh, account and to start to dabble in Leo coin uh, and, and that will just do wonders for the whole community because the strength and the value of Leo coin will come from the size of the economy that we built uh, the the big play that we're making for the future is that to merge multi-level marketing together with digital currencies and Leo coin that's the secret that we think will make us win but uh, as the community gets bigger it has to be active and it can't just be people sitting there and waiting oh, oh I was promised I was going to get rich it doesn't work like that but you have to work hard and be part of a passionate community that drives this and that's all I'll say about this now Leo coin 3 is well underway and, and coming and, and, and we're working like night and day around the clock to get this done and, and by the end of January in a few short weeks, uh, the first version of Leocoin 3 will be launched, and, and, and uh, you, you will see uh, the, the delivery of this. Now, it's like me here says there's going to be features that we want to uh, release uh, uh, out of the shoot, and there'll be things that will come a little bit later, and that's fine because this is a live ecology. Uh, the tree doesn't grow and then stops growing, it carries on growing. But all of the stuff that we talked about now for, for these months are coming, and we just wanted to make that real to you uh, on this webinar. Now, we also have the Leo coin market service, and uh, we uh, have obviously an opportunity for members uh, who are members, not for customers on the outside world, uh, to participate with this product. And the rewards have been quite insane. In fact, uh, we've been criticized by some of our leaders saying that you're giving out too many coins, and it's crazy how many coins you're giving out, and it's, it's just absolutely nuts. So the uh, current incentive that we're having on that will change and it will give less and and while it's it's very gratifying to sort of see the amount of coins that you get on the Leo coin market service that gravy train cannot last forever so uh, the announcement that we're sort of making here now is that by the end of this week the uh, reward will change uh, so if you have people who are on standby and, and, and want to purchase uh, who are ready to sort of get involved with this this is the week to do it because if they do it next week they'll be a little bit sad because the, 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 the reward will change and the and the metrics for how it's calculated will go from the external market to the internal market and, and that's all I'll say about that on, on this call uh, but that is changing likewise the rank award incentives can't last forever at the level that they're at uh, that's so, uh, one of the things that we've been trying to keep in place for you for as long as we possibly can to give you the maximum benefit but it will not last forever now we don't give you the hard date for that but we just wanted to be responsible and let you know that this will change. Uh, me here, are you still there? And do, do you want to add anything to, to what I've just said on these two slides? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still here. I'll just, um, I'll repeat a little bit of that because I think at the critical moment, Dan, uh, you went a bit quiet. Maybe a Wi-Fi issue oh, or something. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just to repeat for anyone who missed um, the bit of, uh, bit of Dan then, it's just 23.59 server time this Sunday. So the end of this uh, actual week. Um, so a few days out from now the um, LMS reward rate will be significantly reduced. So hard deadline, no more coming soon, coming soon, coming soon, hard deadline. There is absolutely no extension at all on that. Um, so if you want to do anything with that product, you want to do, do all of the various things that lots of you've been doing over the past few months, this is the week to do it. And don't, um, don't be sending me any more Skypes on Monday. I've had a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough fair enough thank you for that me here so uh, here's something I wanted to share with you because this came this was from our Chinese webinar that we do uh, the two hours before this one or, or, and um, uh, this is an example of a community-led activity where 
one of our teams created a special incentive, and this was around Christmas, as you can probably see from the decorations, where they created a sweepstake kind of lottery. I'm, 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 I might be describing this a little bit long because I had it second and third hand, but they said that if you give so many Leo coins, we will give you 10 kilos of rice as a special promotion. And this was created by members with a barcode and, and, and it was just the coolest, coolest things that I wanted to share with you. So this is what one of the Leo coin community is doing is a little bit, how shall I say, grassroots activism uh, where a, 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 a Chinese speaking group is doing a special incentive it, it cost them a couple of hundred Leo coins I, I, I don't know what the right number is but you could do this in Finland and you can do this in Sweden you can do this in South Africa you can do this in Cameroon and you can do this in Guadeloupe and you can do this anywhere drive some fun and some awareness around Leo coin that's your job I mean, we, we do the best we can, uh, but we're, we, we're just doing the infrastructure. We're trying to do everything we can to hold the business together. You guys are the marketing guys. Drive the marketing. The other thing that I wanted to share with you, again, from Toronto, is the Christmas Eve celebrations uh, around the Toronto office. And there's Stone and his, his team, and they're always so happy. I, I, I love it. They're just fantastic. So, again, this was in, in the Chinese webinar, just sharing it with you now. We also have some things that came through to me. You remember uh, I mentioned to you Charlie and Ash, and, and they're always sharing with me on WhatsApp the things going on in their wider business. This is Cameroon, and this is an event on the 6th of January. Huh, that was yesterday. Uh, an event in, in, in Cameroon organized by, and forgive me if I get the names wrong, by Dupree, Godwill, and Roland. Uh, doing a, a fantastic looking event there with some, some, some cool, good looking people, and again, exhorting the virtues of being part of Leo and being part of Leo Coin. So, all power to you guys, and well done, Cameroon. In South Africa, in, um, oh, now the city escapes me. Let me see, I've got it on my phone here. Let me just check the, uh, I've got to go back to the right uh, menu. Uh, this was in City Durban uh, yesterday, organized by Madame Nunanalala, uh, presented by Themba. Uh, and this is hundreds and hundreds of people that met and, and saw Leo maybe for the first time yesterday, joining your community, joining your business. Even if they're cross line to you, it's good for business. And we're building this multicultural business all across the world, from China to Africa. Uh, to America, to Europe, to everywhere. Uh, and 2019 is the year when this multicultural business will take wings. And that's all I'll say there. Now, <coughs> as I suggested to you at the beginning of the call, if you've been in the business for a while or if if you've been uh, doing some sort of program or sports or something, or uh, goodness, I, I hesitate to even say it. If you have a girlfriend and you've been with her for a while, you kind of sometimes familiarity breeds contempt or sometimes you kind of, uh, I'm not sure about this because you've been there for a bit. You've got to stop that and remember the excitement with which you joined Leo, with which you joined Direct Selling, with which you joined Network Marketing and remember how how this was going to change your life. Uh, there's always a new, this is my perspective, there's always a new business with insanely motivated and enthusiastic people. Don't let the naysayers, don't let the rejections, don't let the hard work of this scare you because we have changed the lives of thousands of people over the years. And it's about keeping that freshness, keeping that vision, keeping that enthusiasm, no matter what which country you're in, no matter which market you're in, no matter what hardships you have, today is the day when you sign up a new person into your business and he or she changes everything for you. That only happens if you speak to people and if you get your enthusiasm on fire, if you get yourself on fire, people will come from for miles to watch you burn. So, uh, just focus on the incentives, focus on the executive trip, uh, get, get yourself qualified for the momentum trip. Uh, if you're qualified for Brazil, don't miss out on uploading your stuff. Uh, use the incentives while you still can. Um, uh, this week is the last at the higher level. That's enough reason to go and speak to anyone uh, because next week, uh, it's not gonna be, it's gonna still gonna be insanely good, but this week it's crazy. 
So this is Dan Anderson saying thank you very much indeed for coming on the call. Uh, you've been a great, 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 great crowd, and, and it's fantastic to see so many of you. 2019 is Leo's year. And I look forward to sharing that with you as we go forward and sharing your success and celebrating your success. Dan Anderson saying over and out. <laughs>